What would you do to save your child's life? Yay! <laughs> Congratulations! Oh. I'll get a match. Okay. Don't mess up my desk. I already got a match. You are a smarty pants. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> and right. I am gonna get a picture. I know. <laughs> okay. Okay. One, two. Oh, it's Dr. Fisk. Just hold on. Uh, Brenda? Howdy! We are having our big celebration here. We got cake. You get a dog, Bob. Uh, Brenda, listen. Here, Fine. Hang on. I'll eat it by myself. No. Um, no goofing around with that knife. Okay, doctor, I'm sorry. I've got some tough news. The donors backed out. No. No, they can't. They agreed. But this happens more than you think. Maybe they'll change their mind, but we should start looking for another match. But it took years to find this one. We don't have a choice. Come by my office tomorrow. We'll talk through Taylor's options. Don't say anything to her just yet. A lot can change in a day. Well, the Mara registry never says why a donor backs out. Let me talk to them. They, they need to understand what this means. Uh, look, I know the clock is ticking, and I'll talk to the registry, but they can't apply any more pressure than they already have. Paige, stay where I told you. Both of you, be respectful. I'm hungry, though. We're leaving soon. You talked about options. What other options do we have? We can do more blood transfusions, more chemo. There are long shot experimental treatments to keep her alive while we wait for another donor. What, what else? Excuse me. Paige, stay where I told you, both of you. Keep it down. Look, here. Take this, go to the vending machines, and get yourselves a snack, OK? OK. <laughs> you stay together. Look, I have to be honest with you. These are all just short-term solutions. To save Taylor, we need a donor. We won't find another one in time. It has to be them. <sighs> Whoa, what if we offered them more money? Well, we don't offer them any money. Well, I will then. No, we don't pay the donors. Why not? I mean, the, the injections, the time away from work. <laughs> I mean, all that for a total stranger? Brenda, it's against the law. What? Why? It's uh, selling body part. They look at it like selling a kidney. But, but it, it grows back, bone marrow. It grows back. <laughs> you can sell blood, right? I mean, it's, marrow is just baby blood cells. It's considered unethical. It's unethical to save my daughter's life. If we don't get this now, if they don't donate now, Taylor dies, right? Tell me, am I right? You're right. If we pay the donor, we could both go to jail for up to five years, and so could she. So it's a woman. Oh, we need this. If you, if you need something, if you need anything, you pay for it. Why, you don't understand why I can't, I can't just 
do this to save my daughter's life. I can't break the law. It, it's a... It's a... law that makes no sense. Why don't you take a minute, okay? <laughs> I'll get us some coffee, and then we'll look over the options. I'll be all right, Mom. I'll be all right. Of course you will, sweetie. You gonna find your sister, okay? Okay. Okay. Be careful, it's hot. I'd like to schedule a biopsy for Friday, get a new cell count. Okay. Hang in there, Brenda. We're gonna do whatever we can to save her. I know I will. I'm so mean. Okay, you listen to Grandma, okay? I don't wanna go to Grandma. Hello? Uh, yes, Mrs. Reese. This is Nurse Williams from the National Marrow Donor Program. We were just calling to see if you might reconsider donating your bone marrow for a life-saving procedure. Right. Um, I'm sorry. I wish I could do it. I just, I can't make it work right now. We understand that it's inconvenient. Is there anything that we can do to make it more feasible for you? No, look, I'm, I'm really sorry. This is the second call I've gotten from you guys today. Um, I just, I can't do it, okay? Sorry. Goodbye. Yes? Mrs. Reese, I'm sorry. I don't think you understand how important it is that you come in today. We, we, there is someone, we don't keep it on reserve. It's not like blood. There's someone who is waiting for you. Look, I am at work. It is not okay for you to keep calling me like this. Mrs. Reese, there is a little girl. I, I, I wanted to donate. There are lots of people who don't even try. I wanted to help, but I can't right now. Someday I will, but not right now. There is a little girl who is waiting for you. I'm getting off the phone. Do not call me again. My daughter is gonna die. Don't you understand that? What did you say? If you don't come in, my daughter is going to die. It is going to be your fault. You are killing her. No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Please. Answer. Answer them. Brenda, this is Dr. Fisk, trying your home phone. Listen, I checked with the uh, registry again. We need to move on. So sometime cleared up on Wednesday, if you can come in. Why don't you just give me a call?
Each of you grab a bag, please. Can I help you? Jane Reese? Yes. I'm so sorry about what I said on the phone. I just need 30 seconds, please. Look. That's my daughter, Taylor. What grade is she in? Fifth. But honestly, she's too sick to go to school. Uh, she doesn't have long. I, I don't want you to think that I'm a bad person. But I can't ask somebody to come in here and take care of all this for me. While I have a procedure, it's too much for me. I understand how hard it is, but put yourself in my shoes. I'm a single mom, and I'm broke. I've got my mortgage, the work that I would miss, I could lose my shifts, I could lose my job. It's impossible right now. There must be somebody else that can do it, right? No. <sighs> okay, okay, I, I understand, yeah. This is $5,000. It's from my girl's college fund. I, I, I've been saving it since they were babies, but... Uh, I cannot oh, take... Please, for your children. For mine. If I weren't behind on my mortgage, I would never take that. No, you don't have to explain. You just, you, you get ahead on your payments, and, and if there's anything left, you take a trip. You are saving my daughter's life. Please. But it, when I signed up, they said you couldn't make any money. This is illegal, right? Yeah. I could get up to five years. Well, what do you think is right? What would you do to save your child's life? Everything. You do everything. Nearly 3,000 Americans die each year because they can't find a bone marrow donor match. Offering compensation for donors could encourage more Americans to sign up and donate when called upon. Find out how you can help. Visit www.everything.movie.